Hi guys, I'm HexDSL and I'm playing a game that is quite simply WOW. Like, literally, I'm not sure I'm a good enough YouTuber to express how good I think this game is. So we're gonna we're gonna try, okay? We're gonna try. Um Fruits of a Feather is a game that was I, I didn't even hear of it until yesterday when uh, Nez Chan in uh, the Discord community uh, said, hey, you should check this game out. So I was like, okay, let's let's have a look there. Let's see what it is. I always look at a game when people say you should check it out. And if it's free and it's <laughs> it's on itch, there's an even better chance I'm going to check it out because it, it's free. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Fruits of a Feather is a game that describes itself as a fly around an island collecting fruit in relaxing, dreamlike exploration game. Um, best play with a gamepad, but also supports keyboard and mouse. Now I don't know why, but with my config, when I plug uh, when I plug a pad in, a control gamepad in, either the bird just turns right, just turns right. Doesn't matter what I do, it just keeps turning right. So I was like, okay, let's try again with a uh, with 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 a mouse and a keyboard. And oh gosh, I am so glad I did. Uh, this game is by uh, is it Samurai Punk, uh, the guys who bought you such classics as Screen Sheet. Yeah, Screen Sheet's a game where I was like, eh, I, I get there's, I get it, but eh, you know, I was a bit underwhelmed by it. Um, I haven't played their other game here, and they're working on the American Dream, a virtual reality trip at the moment as well, which is okay, fair enough. Coming in VR, we're playing that, but this thing's in the middle. This little thing is in the middle in 2016 here, Fruits of a Feather. So. People on itch seem to like it. Pretty much everyone who's played it has got good things to say about it. So let's have a little look see, shall we? Now I've played about half an hour of it. And uh ooh, uh and there we go. And this is it. This is this is the game. This right here's the game, the whole game. It's got this beautiful piano soundtrack, and I get to exist as a bird. Um I can see how it would play better on a gamepad. But I've had no problems on a mouse and keyboard. I think it's absolutely fine. To be honest, it's a mouse and spacebar is what I'm actually using. Because it's spacebar to slow down. And they shift to speed up. But I found if you just let go of spacebar and then use... You sort of naturally get faster as you face down anyway. So I haven't really used the shift button. Um, I would have preferred control and shift maybe. Instead of space and can shift or space and control. That seems like an odd combination of, uh, of buttons. Look at that. Look at that beautiful little statue thing there. Yay. Now the aim, the aim of the game is to collect fruit. Here we go. Ah, fruit, 103 of 192. Um, I don't know what happens when you get all 192 fruit pieces, but I'm hoping to find out. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm hoping this is the, this is the day, you know. I'm, today I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna experience it, and then I'm gonna move on to the next thing. The weird thing is about these little games, and something that I think Proteus tried, but didn't actually understand, was that these games are, it's necessary to have a target, you know? So even though, like, the, the aim of this game is to collect all the fruit, that's just something to keep me going in new directions. Whereas Proteus didn't really give me a reason to keep playing. It didn't oh, It didn't really give me a reason to, uh, to to keep exploring. Where this game, this game, they've worked out how long you should explore for, and they've made enough fruit that will keep you occupied for about that time. Um, it's not a drive, you know? It's not like you're going to go, hey, there's fruit, I'm going to, I have to get all the fruit. It's just something you do while you're flying around. And it, it also makes you experience the bird going all sorts of different directions and angles. Um, that over there is not fruit, it's a lighthouse. I did try and collect it because I'm a stupid bird. Um, the other game's really small download as well. It's, it's crazy small. I don't know the exact size, but it downloaded in like what seemed like a few seconds. I clicked it and I felt like I was playing straight away. Um, there's no textures in anything, that'd be the reason why. It's all done with solid colours. But uh, that's not a criticism. This game looks totally unique. And the white, there you go, look, a lighthouse. Can't collect that fruit. Nope, it's a lighthouse. Uh, yeah, this game looks totally unique. And the shadows, the way the shadows lay across the landscape. And the way, ah, crap. Yeah, and you just saw as well the bird can't die. Uh, there's no, much like uh, one of this year's favourites for me, Refunct. There's, uh, there's no method of death in this game. There's nothing to kill you. There's nothing to hunt you, there's nothing to run from, you just experience the world the developers created. And when you're done, you exit and move on, you're done. Um, it's it's more of a game than art piece, as I've said, because where Proteus, which I consider to be an art piece, um, fails as a game, is it doesn't give you any purpose in exploration. Ah, crap, I got it, it's okay. It doesn't give you any purpose in exploration, where this game does give you that purpose. And that's, and that's just, I don't know. It makes you feel like you're progressing towards something, but you know you're just uh, you're just flying around. Yay! Um, I like the fact that they went with a bird as well instead of any other creature or aeroplane or. I mean, it could quite easily be a drone game, couldn't it? Um, but the fact it's a bird just makes it feel natural from start to finish. There's no technology to be seen here. It's just a wonderful 
experience to be had. And uh, yeah, I, all in all, I'm just enjoying the uh, soft piano. Well, is it MIDI? I don't know. It sounds like soft piano soundtrack it's got. Um, ah, no, and uh, try desperate. No, there you go. See, and if you uh, if you do get caught in a corner, uh, you just bounce off everything till you you escape. Uh, no, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, I better uh, zoom out the area and come back. A uh, better angle for that little bit of fruit. Yeah. As I said, the fact that the fruit's kind of like a sideline. You don't necessarily... It's not the drive the expiration is. It is kind of... just kind of piss you off when you really see the fruit and you're like, I might not be able to find this later. So there is that game element to it. So it's not a complete art piece like Proteus is. Oh, man, is that a cave? That looks like a cave. I bet that's a cave. Yeah. I think, oh, I think I've been here because there's no fruit there. Yep, I've already been in here. Look at the beautiful crystals. Again, not, not a texture in sight. It's all lighting and solid colours and geometry, and it's beautiful. I really like it. Yeah, I was really blown away by it when I played it this morning. I was really, I was sort of genuinely stunned by how good it was. I don't expect it, and it's not because it's on itch, because there are some great games on itch. The reason this snuck up on me so much is because I'd never heard of it, and then when I saw it was by um, Samurai Punk, uh, I thought, oh, I didn't really like Screen Sheet. I thought it was okay, but it didn't really suck me in. Uh, the way it did some people, and yeah, so I didn't have high hopes. And then when I and then when I sort of download fast, I thought, oh, it's going to be like a tiny five-minute experience or something. And then when I actually got it, and I realised there's a weather system, and there's there's stuff to do, and there's there's that awesome lighting that's going on. I was yeah, I was a little bit a little bit taken by surprise by it. I yeah, I I don't know if this is coming to Steam or other platforms. But if it does come to any other platform, I'll happily give them money because this is the sort of thing where a developer's made something totally unique and they really should be rewarded for it. There you go, look, more fruit, yay! Uh, if you go on top of them, oh, there's one there, look, look at that, there's one there, look. Ah, yeah. And then we'll scope that one. It's like they've been arranged so you can, if you know where they all are, you can just get them all on one sweep. It's nice. There is a there is snow in the game as well. Let's see if we can find some snow. We'll, we'll try not to get distracted by fruit and just head for the snow. I've also just realised I've got my big glasses on, so you guys are looking at a lot of reflection. That's okay. I'm not re-recording at this point, though. It's it's fine. It's fine. Ah, yeah, oh, fruit. More fruit. Yeah, these are big fruits. Ah. The big fruits don't give you any extra. They're just different fruits. I suppose fruit is fruit. Ah, oh, bounced off stuff. I wonder what it tastes like. Like, they're not oranges. They're like, like these, these things look like fruit, like low polygon fruit bushes or something. And then the other ones look like gourds of some kind. Maybe we should email the developer and say, what does the fruit taste like? I'm not a fan of fruit. I like dried fruit. I'm not a fan of fresh fruit. But then again, I'm also not a bird. I also can't fly. And the world isn't made of weird low polygon geometric geometry. Geometric? Geometry. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it's nice. Ah, oh, snow, I found some snow. If we get high enough now, we'll see snow. There's no fruit in the snow, I found this out. Yay. And then as you fly down again, the snow clears. Or oh, it should clear. There we go, yay. Just like real life. I suppose that's how they stop you going too high. Because um, obviously in these games, the... the Things like pilot wings. You have the you have the desire to go straight up to see how high you can go and then look down on the island. So that's how they do it with a bit of snow. But uh yeah. I suppose it does remind me of pilot wings in a way. There was a lot of that in Pilot Wings 64 and uh the, the three DS one Pilot Wings Resort. You're just flying around. Ah, there we go. Ah, should have slowed should have no no, should have slowed down for that. I was uh I didn't even have my hand on the keyboard for that, which is ah. Yeah. It's like a pumpkin. I wonder if it tastes like pumpkin. I'm going to email them and ask them. Yay. And uh, oh, there's the statue again, which seems to change. You can fly through the statue. The music resets. Or at least it did earlier. Might have been coincidence. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Into the eye. Yeah. The music changes. That's a that's a good useful statue. I wonder if that happened. That's why birds like statues so much. It's like a jukebox for them in real life. Who knows? Oh, so instead of piano now we've got like drums and stuff. It's nice. I like it. I like it. Uh, 
I don't know, actually, I've just realised my sound is quite low. Let's uh, let's turn this up. Oh, no, no, no. Let's turn it up for you guys, shall we? Yeah. Just a little bit of turned up. So, as always with these games and making a well-thought-out video, you have to start saying things like, what's wrong with it then? Well, mechanically, the, the bird seems a bit twitchy on mouse. Like, it constantly seems a bit, you know, a bit twitchy. Um... That's a bit off-putting, but again, it did say it was really designed for a pad, but then when I did plug the pad in, I just started moving to the right, I think it was to the right, constantly, um, which was a little bit weird. Um, and then, uh, uh, and then there's, there's things like the uh, resolution, if I escape there, look, it thinks I'm in 2560 by 1080 when I'm actually 1920 by 1080, um, and there's no, there's no option to, uh, to change the, uh, Oh, game, mouse pad, game pad. There's no options to uh, change the keybinders either. So if you did fancy some different keybinders, you couldn't do it. So yeah, I mean, it's 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 an itch game, and it's free, and it's wonderful, and I really, really honest and truly like it. But yeah, there's a few tweaks they could make to make it even better. Um, like possibly, possibly, I don't know, give you an idea of where the things are to collect as you get less of them. Oops, because I've got like, how many have I got now? I've got 133. I'm seeing less and less. Um, I don't know. Will I end up hunting down that one, or will I end up like finding it really easy? Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe some kind of idea of where they are might be nice. But again, that'd be against the spirit of the simplism of the game, I suppose. I'm not a developer. This is why I'm not a developer. I don't understand the big picture. Yay! I found loads more fruit though. Yay! So this could go on all day. I've been XDSL. This has been Fruit of Feather. A great game's worth checking out. Thanks for watching and there's a link in the description. Bye.